Hello there, Aquarius. This is your second half of March 2023 reading. So let's see what comes up for you guys. Ooh, this one popping already. Who do we have? King of Swords. Ooh. This could be you. You could be dealing with another air sign. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. Feels confident. Let's see. Large and in charge here. Ooh, okay. Maybe you're dealing with another air sign. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone that is very intelligent, very strong, very confident. Coming towards you. Okay. Let's see what else we get on this one. Two of Wands. Maybe they've been looking for you. Look. Where is my Aquarius? I'm looking for my Aquarius. <laughs> okay, so looking for something. I'm trying to get something together here. We have, ooh, a Three of Swords. What happened here? A little pain. Maybe someone's looking to mend something with you, cause some pain. All right. We have the Five of Cups. Oh, yeah, someone's in a lot of regret, remorse for something that happened here. Someone's feeling really bad. And then we have denying a source. Yeah, they're they're in it. They're in it good. Okay. And the sun. They want happiness. Because they're suffering through whatever happened here. Here's a three of swords. So someone could be really looking for you here. Trying to find you. Hmm. Want to make things right. You were their happiness. Okay, we have here the death, the ending. I think someone's trying to bring something back around. Rebirth. Transformation. Okay, let's see what we get here. Why do we have the King of Swords? Let me just move this out away for a minute. Give myself some more room. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here for a quick one? Okay, let me, I'm a little crooked. I don't like that. <laughs> don't like to be crooked. That's all right, right? Okay, let's see. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The Devil. Ooh. I think someone's obsessing over you. Could be dealing with Capricorn, but I don't think so. I mean, it could be any sign here. Someone is very intelligent, though, and they're very... I feel like they're determined. They want to find you. Where are you, Aquarius? Are you in hiding? Okay. okay. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Ace of wands. A lot of passion and desire here. Someone wants to get together with you. We already have the three of swords. What happened here? Let's see. Someone wants to mend this broken heart. Page of Pentacles. Okay, they're going to reach out. They're going to message you, get a message to you. Somehow they want to reach out to you. Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. Let's see here. An owl. Wise. They might even come at night. This is, uh, this is very important communication. As far as they're concerned, this is very important. They have to tell you something. They need to tell you something. I'm feeling like I keep on getting in my head. They need to take. They're in a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Okay, why is the Five of Cups here? Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to this. They don't want to let this go. Okay, what about this Nine of Swords? Someone is not sleeping, stressing out. Okay, let's see. Page of Cups. I think they want to apologize here. They definitely want to get a message to you. They want to talk to you. Why are they coming out as a page? So we have, there's a lot of memories here. Big memories. Big, big, big memories. Okay, let's get the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be any sign though. And the Sun. Leo Energy. Happiness. Why is the Sun card here? Four of Swords. They want to heal this. This They want to heal the Three of Swords and bring back happiness into their life. They felt happiest when they were with you. They want to bring that back. They want to try to mend this. 
heal. This a strong feeling of healing has to heal something here. The magician, they're trying to manifest this. Look at this death card. Rebirth, transformation. It almost feels like this is a tall order, but they're trying really hard to make this happen. Um, magician for me is Aries and Aquarius, but I feel like this is this person trying to do this. Okay, now let's see. What else do we have here for Aquarius? A lot of passion, though. Queen of Cups. They see you as a Queen of Cups. It's very loving, nurturing, caring. Okay. And intuitive. We have here a book. Very knowledgeable, too. We have a book here. They see you as knowing things. Very intuitive. Mm. Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. Trying to heal this. Trying to make this work. Eight of Wands. They want to communicate. They're going to make a move here. They want to balance things out with your temperance. Make things right. Nine of Pentacles. They see you as very independent, doing your own thing. And they also see you as the Empress. This also could be Libra Taurus energy, but they see you as the one. They put you on a pedestal here. Two of Cups, you are the one for them. A lot of love here. Soulmate connection. Feel, they feel that very strongly for you. Okay, so let's see. Move this up a little bit. Why do we have... I <laughs> had a feather there. I knew I felt something. Okay. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Chariot. Okay, they want to come in quickly. You might see this person just show up. They're getting a little impatient. They want to come in quickly. They want something to move here. Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Hierophant. You could be dealing with Taurus. Cancer, Taurus. They want a commitment here. They want to fix things. What about the Eight of Wands? Seven of Pentacles. They are going over this over and over and over again, trying to figure out how they can make this work, how they can fix this, how can they make this grow. They want something to work. They want some communication. They want to have back and forth communication with you. What about the um, temperance card? Two of Pentacles. Okay, they're trying to decide how to do this, how to balance things out, how to juggle something. Okay, what about this Nine of Pentacles? Page of Swords. This person's watching you. They're spying on you. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're trying to find out information. They want to know what you're doing. If you're single. That's what they really want to know. Are you available? Are you single? Dragon. Protection. Wisdom. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Page of Swords. They could be watching your social media or trying to ask friends or family about you or go, going by your house or where you work. What about the Empress? Queen of Swords. Yeah, they see you as a Queen of Swords. The Empress. Not paying any attention. Your back is turned towards them. They need to find a way to contact you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Rocking horse. You have uh, memories, childhood memories, or um, memories from the past. It goes back away with the little rocking horse. But here's like no movement because a rocking horse is stationary. A rocking horse is not moving. This person wants to move. We have the cherry here, but they're not moving. Okay, the bottom deck we have the Three of Pentacles. They want to work together. They want to be in a partnership with you. Very strong connection, though. 
You feel this person. If, the, if this, if you don't feel this person, then this reading's not for you. Because this person is coming in very strong in someone's energy here. Let's see. Um, Queen of Swords. There's... Yeah, they, when they think of you, they think of you loving, nurturing, caring. Also, you could be very cold. You could cut someone off when you when you're loving. You're loving. It feels like when you're cold, you're cold. But they do see you as they they have a lot of respect for the fact that you put yourself um you hold yourself in high regard, which you should. I don't think this person is used to that. So I don't. You know, you're different. They see you as different. They definitely want to heal this. They're trying to find a way. I feel like this person, this person's energy is pulling me in. It's like they have a way. They have a very charming way about them. And But they're also in their head about this. The Five of Cups. They're really a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, but they do not want to let you go. So they're, you know, we have here the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Why is this person, they're coming first off as a king of swords. It almost feels like when you first met this person, you saw them differently than what they were. And then you see them more of a page, more of a kid, more of an immature. But when you first met them, they were, they were showing you they were the devil. They were, they were, um, they weren't, they weren't who they were. They weren't showing you the truth them. They were showing you who they knew they had to be to match you. Because King and Queen of Swords match here. A good match. And I feel like that's what you thought you were getting. But then you realize this person was more immature. You know, it's like, they're were they lazy? It feels like they didn't want to put in the work. I'm looking at all these cards and putting them all together. It's like this person started out when you first met them as being very charming and very persuasive. And, you know, they're intelligent. But then they acted like more like a child. Well, now they're trying to come back around. I don't know. I've still, I don't see any energy. The I just threw three pages here. So I don't think this person grew up. Okay, let me put a couple more cards down on here and see what else we get. Tell me more about this connection. Tell me more about this connection, please. The wolf. Beware who you trust. See, I don't think you could trust this person. Coming across as a wolf. I love wolves, <laughs> but I don't know here. Fire. Reckless actions lead to conflict. Yeah, this person does not think. They're very impulsive. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get one more. The golem. Golem? Close friends act on your behalf. So someone's helping you. This is like almost like a robot or something. This golem. So some friends are a a helping you somehow. Okay, then we have here the Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. So you got to really watch what you say to this person when they come forward. Be cautious. I, I think because they're they're kind of um, vulnerable right now. They feel like when they do come towards you, you know, they're coming up as a page, which really, you know, you're coming up as a queen, the empress. It doesn't feel like a match. Okay, so. Okay, let's see what the words are. Okay. It's King of Swords. Let's get some words on the King of Swords. Expect, omitted, married. 
Now, I'm getting two things here. I'm getting, expect that this person's going to admit that they are married. Or they were married when you were together. Or they're going to admit that they wanted to get married, but they never moved beyond because they're always acting as a page. They weren't taking responsibility. Okay, so now let's see about this page of pentacles. Sincere. Money. Okay, this person has a love for money, it seems like. Okay, let's see. Look, money. Money's on their mind. Okay, what about this page of cups? Apart. Lying. Closure. Okay, I'm going to put maybe lying <coughs> brought you to, <coughs> broke you guys apart. And that brought the closure in. <coughs> okay, now they want to talk. <coughs> Once this came up, my throat got really closed up. This person does not talk. And they might want to talk now about what, how, because they didn't talk before. What about this Queen of Cups, which I do feel is your energy. What's going on with this Queen of Cups? <coughs> I got two here. Mystery. Married. Okay, this person is wondering whether or not you're married or you're in, involved with someone. Here, so th th you're a mystery to them. Okay, now. Just put this here. What about this page of stores? Bye, guys. Bye, girl. I got two. Okay. DX memories. Yeah, this this person is in their memories about you big time. Okay, what about this Queen of Swords? Unknown. Thoughts. Third party. Now, this person really wants to know if you're involved with someone. That's that mystery. Are you married? Are you involved? Again, unknown thoughts. Is there a third party? Is there someone else? Um, or maybe you didn't know about third party. You're thinking about whether or not there's a third party when you were together or something about someone. But, you know, also... With the third party, it could have been someone cheated, but it could have been something outside the connection. We do have the devil here. This person also had addictions, too. Um, or it could have been, yeah, besides addictions, it could have been long distance between you two that you didn't, didn't work out. But it also could be family, friends, other people. Being the third party uh, coming in between you. Anything outside the connection will be a third party. Okay, so now. Oh, this person is really, like, so, like, really hanging on. I'm trying to pull out the energy and they're pulling me back in. It's really weird. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> All right, it's like, no, you got, you got to get the message across or something like that. It's like, oh. But it looks like this person was really into the money. Okay, let's see here. What signs can you be dealing with? Cancer. Leo. Virgo. Pisces. Sagittarius and Capricorn. So this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Okay, now let's do 11 letters for initials. Initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Okay, let's see here. Past, present, future, also your own initials. H, D, J, L, a G I I see that lag there it seems like this person was really lagging on things they did not move I B H P okay so the letters we have for you today are H D J L A G I I B H P 
now let's do the names. Get eleven or more names. So the names want to come up. Oop. Okay. We have Jordan. Francesina, F R A N C E S S I N A, Latoya, Christy, K R I S T I E, Cat, K A T, Brian, B R Y A N, Christopher, June. Jordan with an E N. We have J O R D A N and J O R D E N and Veronica and Dyra D H I R A J. Okay, so we have a eleven names. Okay, now remember, guys, these are general readings; they are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you, check out your other placements. Go always check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. That might resonate with you more at this time. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.